Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Draft of Glory, the series where we're up to a quarter of a million coins made on the series itself, sold, lots of stuff as well, mainly consumables. Uh, over the past few days, I'm going to clear that and then relist everything uh, as well and try and get rid of it. Uh, most of it's not worth anything. If it goes, it goes. As simple as that. So if you guys do want the MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out g2a.com. There are links down below. If you're trying to hit over 2,000 likes, that would be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So one thing I'm going to clear up is at the moment on Draft of Glory, it's all about making money. It's all about winning. It's all about making money. The drafts can be pretty boring, but we do try to mix it up a little bit. Now, theme drafts probably will come in the future, but currently, to like quarter of a million, it's not a lot of money to play with, especially if we're going in the first round and trying my hardest with it. Um, it can prove very, very difficult. And I'm hoping in today's video, um, we just win. We just win because, as you can see with the record, guys, 31 wins, 5 losses, and not many draft wins, I do believe. Now, formation wise, we've got the false 9, which I've heard is pretty good this year. Uh, the 4 3 1 2. And I might go with that. 3 4 1 2, yeah, 3 4 1 2. I'm going to go with that one. Let's see what we can do with a 3 at the back Carvalho, Aguero, Manzukic. I've never used Aguero this year. He is the best pick out of the captain choice anyway, so um, I will go with Sergio Aguero. Maybe get Lionel Messi in the centre cam position. Dybala. David Silva obviously offers me a strong link, but if I can go like him there and Ronaldo here, I wasn't so lucky. I wasn't so lucky. And Naltovic, um is going to be our player of choice uh, from that one. Right midfield. Argentina, right midfield. Uh, we've got Fornals, we've got Boulder Diaw, um, and Castiello as well. So at the moment we have gone, we have got a little bit of a Serie A link going on. So we could potentially fit him into the team, Castiello. But then again, that right mid Fornals was, did work for me the other day. So, But I will go Castiello, swap them two over, and then maybe try and get someone from the, the Serie A, which hasn't happened either. So this is what happens when Bateson tries to be clever, especially at this stage of draft where there's not many special cards in draft. It can prove very, very <laughs> like dodgy as hell, you know. Um, we've got Kadira, offers me the German link and, and obviously a strong link to Dybala as well. And left midfield, Hyung Min Sun, Douglas Costa. That is not a bad one. That is not a bad one. It's a good link there. I've got human someone who will be a nice link, obviously, to Aguero, but I'm going to go with Douglas Costa, just in case I can pull a Ronaldo. Centre-backs. Sully, uh, Radu. David Luis. Fazio as well. Um, I'll probably go with... I've never used Radu. At, like, he's six foot left footed. Uh, or David Luis. I'll go with David Luis. I don't know how I can maybe link him in. We'll see. Marcelo, Marcano. Um, not a bad centre back. And Skrunar as well. I'll go with Skrunar Vinta. He's looking like this could be a Serie A draft if I can get the remaining pieces. We've got Jardel, Bender, and uh, Varam. No, we haven't took. We've, we've screwed ourselves a little bit, guys. We've got Sanchez. And. Uh, yeah, I'll go with Sanchez. I've screwed myself a little bit, taking as many uh, player swaps as I, as I was going to. Guetta or Consigli. I'll go with Guetta because I do like him. So 83 chemistry. Obviously, I'm looking to get a lot of changes in this uh, as possible. Hernandez, Ben Chilwell as well, but he's a left back. Uh, Hernandez at centre back. He might be all right. We'll take him. Who else are you going to give me game? Who else are you going to give me? Monreal, Sacco, Rose, and Guerre. There was no Argentina links, was there? Sacco will probably be the best choice, I think, for now. Because if I don't get a centre-back in the future, I'm a little bit screwed. So 89 chemistry. That actually drops it down there. We'll go a bit like that. Looking for a centre midfielder, Condogbia. French link. Um, Freddy Guarine as well. We'll get one link to him, but... Very difficult to link on the other side, but Condogbia might be alright. 
um, Brandt. Did we take a? We didn't take a German. I'll take Brandt. Uh, no, sorry, I'll take on Dogbier because he could be a, a really good CDM. Swap them two around. What does that do then? Same chemistry in it. Yeah, we'll keep it as it is then. For now, Nabri Garcia and Zonzi, and Nabi Fakir as well. Fakir, what would you do? I don't think you would do much, but that Condogbia would. Uh, sorry, that and Zonzi would. Let's go over and Zonzi. Over Condogbia. It takes us 94. 97. Like that. We've done alright to actually keep chemistry, but and we haven't even got to we have got to strikers now. Javinho Politano, but we've got a left midfielder. And Lucas Vazquez. There's no Premier League players in there, no. So we've got Lucas Vazquez. Goalkeeper. If we get a better Premier League goalkeeper, that would be fantastic. We get Fabricio and Adan. I'll take Adan because no one else really links. And then we've got the final few picks, guys. Looking for strikers. Chadley. No, he wouldn't do it. Left midfield isn't needed. Semedo. We'll go Semedo because he's the highest rated. And now we've got the free picks. I might move back to front and see what happens with it doing this way. Maybe it might give me a little bit of luck. It does give me a little bit of luck, actually, because it gives me Riyad Mahrez. And then I could swap our Nautovic round with Aguero. Yeah, let's go with that. Riyad Mahrez. Obviously missed that sitter against um, against Liverpool, but it takes us to 100 chem. It's a nice, it, looks, it looks like a nice little hybrid, this, but this player's not on full chemistry, which I'm never a fan of. Promes, Ricardo Pereira, Bonaventura. Um, doesn't give me any benefit at all. And I think Quincy Promes is going to be my pick for this one. Just a super sub. Because we haven't got a Ronaldo, we haven't got a Messi, we haven't really got a go-to um, a go-to striker at this current moment. High Saj, Naby Keita, Bernardo Silva. So we were after him a bit ago, but we've got Naby Keita now as well. Um, he wouldn't do much for me, but I will take him because he's reasonably good. And we've got two players, guys. I'm looking to get a striker. I don't mind Dan Artovich and Aguero because it's an absolute... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We'll go a rating. And the final pick, who's it going to give me on the final... Please give me a striker. Oh, no. Oh no, no super sub carry in this draft at all. We'll go a rating. We're at 184. I don't think we can actually get it any higher thinking about it. Maybe a 185. No, it is a 184 draft. It is a 184 draft. No Ronaldo, no Messi. Um, yeah, that. so that takes it to 100 like that. So who's on low chemistry? One striker and one CDM in in, in, in Zonzi. And if I was to move in Zonzi there, that would obviously drop chemistry as well. So um, no need for that. So let's stick with that. Well, I hope I can do the business. I hope I can do the business. We've not got a bad team. I think we've done all right there. We've got a Serie A hybrid with a Premier League hybrid. Which is probably the easiest hybrid to get on FIFA um, Ultimate Team currently anyway. We'll see who we get as a manager. Premier League would be nice. We get Simeone. We don't get a Premier League manager. So that would do work on two players who've already got full chem anyway. Bundesliga 2, Bundesliga 3, Bundesliga 3, Liga now. So we'll go with... Uh, who was the other player not on full chem? So it's French, one it? And we haven't got any of them. Right, Simeone becomes our manager for the Argentinians. Argentinian, sorry. Uh, 84, 84, 83. Not a bad draft. 13 draft entries, seven in a row. It's not. We are over halfway in terms of like wins and losses. We'll do the custom tactics as well. Same as usual. Pressure on heavy touch. Uh, stay. Probably go a little bit wider actually. Drop a little bit back. Balanced width go wide. Plays in the box. I'll drop that down and corners and free kicks fine so we'll just go a bit like that and hopefully this team can do me the business guys leave a like rating on it subscribe if you're not let's go and see how we do with this Serie A Premier League hybrid well we move into the first game 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one with uh, I think that is that I'm gonna guess it's Dyer in the right midfield he's got a silver player there but very bog standard looking Premier League team standout players in there uh, Van Dijk 
Keita, Vardy's dangerous, and Eden Hazard. And in the first couple of minutes, we break through into the area. Dybala with the dribbling. Nice L1. Bit of dribbling as well. If you guys don't know how to do that, hold the L1 button with a 4-star or 5-star skiller and try and do a ball roll, and you'll notice that they change the angle. It's the Iniesta skill move one, which a lot of people were talking about at the early stages of gameplay game at least. And it's effective. It is really effective. We've been taking advantage of it, having to play around. Brilliant drag back there. Ball over to Dybala. Nice turn on the defence. Over to Mares. Mares isn't skying that one over, guys. He puts it in. 2 0 in the 38th minute. Very, very nice finish by Mares. I thought at this point my opponent might be changing the team around. Um, he never. He actually pressed the start button twice, and then the second time he did actually quit. So we get a first round rage quit here. Our next opponent, Hazard, Kane and Salah up front, as well as Lingard, De Bruyne, um, Alonso, Rudiger and Guetta in net. A keeper who we've also got in net. So a dangerous um, looking midfield and attack and a formation as well, which could potentially leak a lot of goals. Arnautovic into, um, no, Arnautovic gets it back somehow, and then it goes out for a throw in. Don't know how it's managed to clear the ball like that, but it has. Repicking the ball up, Mahrez out to Nzonzi. Nzonzi through to Kadira. Kadira to Arnautovic. Nice turn in the defender, and a nice, uh, like, placed finesse around the goalkeeper. It makes it 1-0 in the 32nd minute. In the 57th minute, though, we, I don't know how we had not got a second goal in this game, and then... Well, what happens when you don't get the second goal, guys? Two E defenders drift forward to one attacker, and then you're left with a free run for Eden Hazard to put it in past the keeper and make it 1 1 in this game. And this is a second round as well, so um, it's an issue when two E defenders do go towards the attacker because when you're in a position with a free at the back formation, it can be very, very tough. So he ties it up to 1 1, and then we intercept a ball there as he goes forward. We then start our own attack. And average through to Aguero. Aguero with the turn of the defender, waits for the runners, finally sees it as he gets it through to Kadira. Kadira with the ball back to um, Aguero, who places it past the goalkeeper and makes it 2 1 in the 62nd minute. A very nice finish uh, from Sergio Aguero. Deserved as well. It's a shame it never happened earlier because still not one, still not being two goals clear was rough. It was rough. And then what a corner, guys. Constant threat from my opponent. As you can see, he got lucky there um, as the ball uh, bounces off my defender and goes out for another corner. And then from, I think this is the third corner in a row, he punches it out. A ball into uh, De Bruyne. De Bruyne with the crossing. And I don't know how, but Hazard leaps over the defender and puts it in the bottom corner. So if we weren't struggling against the tall players, it was the small players which were causing me the damage as well. Now this game 2-2, um, obviously I was pushing towards getting a winner in this game and uh, we were defending pretty well against this guy. Um, I still find the gameplay very different to like rivals and stuff. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that one, um, but it does feel a lot heavier. A lot of people enjoy the draft gameplay over, uh, over it, but it's very arcadey. Vasquez, super sub, coming on and making it 3-2 in the 83rd minute. That was the response we wanted from the team and we actually got it there um, and hopefully that will be the final goal of the game. That's at least what I was to believe until the 91st minute. Bowing down the wing with Neymar Jr. Gaps all over the shop, triple uh, square off and uh, he does put it into the back of there. Eden Hazard making it 3-3 in the 91st minute. An annoying goal to concede, but what can you do, guys? You've got to push on, and with the stamina depleted of all the players being in this formation, it was going to prove to be a hard match. But somehow, Vasquez gets the ball over to Aguero. Aguero over to Promes, takes a touch to get the simple shot off and make it 4-3 in the 99th minute. This was extra time now. This was an important moment of the game, and all we had to do was see out the victory. Not make any rash challenges, as you see in there. Not give away any stupid free kicks, as you see there. Then, Alonso steps up. Someone takes it right to the chrome there, and uh, somehow he hits it again, and it bounces to Rakitic, who scores a lobbed header over the keeper. The keeper, don't know what he was doing with his position in there, guys, but he does uh, let a goal in. 2-1, you step, step up, guys, and uh, take the penalty shootouts. That was my third penalty going in. Three of them going in, he had missed one, and uh, now it was all about putting the uh, rest of them in the back of the net and trying to maybe save one or two more uh, of his. 3-2 in the lead, the fourth penalty steps up. Dybala, uh, sorry, Aguero stepping up, going to the right-hand side, beating the keeper, and uh, that was us comfortable. If we could save this, this would be a game-changer and a winner as well, but he powers it into the left-hand side and then takes it down to the final penalties. Dybala stepping up to make it 5 out of 5. Looks like he's going to the left and stays to the left and we make it 5 
4, 5-3 actually, yeah, because he didn't get a taste of a penalty. 5-3 on penalties, and that was us through to the semi-final of the foot draft today. Nice, uh, nervous game. I won't lie, guys, it was a very, very nervous game, an annoying game uh, to play against, and now with the semi-final opponent against Lukaku, Zaha, Lingard, uh, uh, Jorginho and uh, Bernard Mares. Guys, let me know if I said that correctly. I think I might have said it wrong still. Uh, Mendy, Alderweireld, Jones, Walker and in Courtois in there. 100 chem, 84 rated team. And uh, we start off nice. Kadira with the ball inside here to Dybala. Dybala through to Arnautovic. Arnautovic back to Nzonzi. Nzonzi through to Kadira. Kadira over to Aguero. Aguero with the turn. Brilliant turn on the defence and finesse it into the far corner making it 1-0 in the 6th minute. That was a very, very nice individual goal. Very, very greedy but somehow he's drew he did feel like the best Premier League striker um, that I've used so far. A lot of people have personal preferences. Maybe people like uh, Abamyang. Maybe people like Lukaku, Jamie Vardy, and Nautovic as well. But this Sergio Guerrero uh, was pretty ridiculous. So still keeping the pressure on our opponent, looking to get more attempts, more goals, and push him out of the game uh, and go clear as well. Uh, you can see the ball here to Costa, inside to Arnautovic, Arnautovic to Dybala. Dybala, somehow, I don't know how this happened actually, deflected all the way over to the wing. Mahrez headed it back and Zonzi catches it sweet on the volley and makes it 2-0 in the 18th minute. A very, very nice goal and uh, that should be us, well... Well clear in this game because my opponent was not really doing much up until this point. And then we're hit with a corner kick which is um, drifted in. He gets the uh, ball back here with uh, Jorginho and uh, then somehow the ball bounces to Lukaku twice. And then somehow it ends up inside the area for all the world to put in simply. 2-1. 78th minute though, uh, my opponent still pushing on the attack and uh, giving away free kicks on the defensive style. We pick the ball up with Costa, Costa through to Mares, Mares down to Keita, Keita through to Promes, Promes with the uh, turn on the defenders. He's able to uh, get, like look at him dancing around him, ball into Keita, Keita over to Luis, Luis to Aguero, Aguero to Dybala. Nice fake shot and uh, somehow keeper saves it, but Aguero's there to pounce and make it 3 1 in the 80, 80th minute of the game. Oh, Vasquez, sorry, Vasquez pounced and uh, super sub. He's got two decent goals for me now. And that was the end of the semi final against Islamic State. You know, like, what, what is the need of these uh, of these club names, you know? Simple. Keep them simple, keep them clean. Final opponent. Yep, Neymar, Messi, and Bale. As well as Verratti, Marcelo, and De Bruyne, Rudiger, Acerbi, Florenzi, Aurier, and Edison. 84 chemistry, 86 rated, so there could have been some hidden gems on the bench. And somehow my opponent gets an early penalty as we got a decent tackle off, but because the player was off balance and hit the keeper, uh, it results in us getting a penalty. I don't believe that was a penalty. Um, but he does step up uh, with uh, Neymar Jr. Neymar Jr. put it in down the middle. He would have stayed there, would have saved it, as always. But we go 1-0 down in the first minute of the game. Not the first start I wanted in this. Uh, in this, And then we were just overloaded, guys. Ball through to Messi. Messi with the touch and the shot beats the keeper. Keeper didn't even attempt to save that. We go 2-0 down in 10 minutes. I didn't know what was going on. It just felt like it was going to be one of them games, but Aguero and Cole were still working towards getting the chance. And Zonzi, ball out to Mares. Mares with the dribble on the inside, works the space, gets it over to Aguero. Aguero to Anatovic. Simple finish beats the keeper. We pull it back to 2 1 in the 12th minute. Could be a, I don't know, scenes of a kickoff goal. Maybe you guys can decide. But De Bruyne inside the area is able to get the fake shot off, get the ball in chipped, and look at that for a weak header at the keeper, and the keeper just falls to the ground. 3-1. Lionel Messi makes it. This wasn't looking good. It doesn't start to look any better either, guys. Ball into Messi to Marcelo. Marcelo with the ball inside. Square over and Aguero. Uh, sorry, Bale. Not even um, contested by the defence or the goalkeeper. He makes it 4-1. That's a free goal difference, guys, with about 60 in-game minutes left. No, but less than that, actually. 50 in-game minutes. But second half, we come out to play. Made a few changes. Brought, moved Mares into the middle. And uh, ball over to Mares here. Mares does make it 4-2 in the 49th minute. And every time we went forward after this, guys... It felt good. 51st minute. Look at the gaps opening up. Nice uh, ball through to Dybala, to Mares. Mares down to Aguero. Looks like he was getting caught, but somehow we able to keep the ball. Into Mares. One touch and a brilliant finesse makes it 4-3 in the 53rd. We had switched the game around and now it was in our favour. 55th minute. 
Still got the ball, got intercepted there, but looking to shut down my opponent. Able to do it in the defence, ball into Arnautovic to Aguero, Aguero through to Dybala, Dybala to Costa. Costa inside the area, he's able to turn back, square it over, and Dybala rockets it into the roof of the net and makes it 4-4 in the 57th minute. We are pulled back, guys, from 4-1 down to 4-4. I was happy at this point, but I wasn't done. Aguero with the ball into Promes on as to the fresh legs. Had burned in the defender, able to get inside the area. Nice fake shot, nice pass back, and a nice uh, save there by the keeper as Aguero picks the ball up inside the area. He's able to turn back, get it over to Dybala. Dybala with a finesse beats the keeper, and we go into the lead. Four goals without response, and this was feeling and looking like this could have been our game for the win. From 4-1 down to 5-4 up. 91st minute though. Yep. You can see who's got the ball guys. It wasn't going to be fun. Messi. One touch. Bang. 5-5. Five, five. 90 second minute. He takes us to extra time of this game. If we didn't want any more stress. We were going to get it. Mares with the ball into Arnautovic. Arnautovic with the pass over. Gets lucky to get the ball back. Gets it through to uh, uh, Aguero to Mares. And Mares into the roof of the net. Makes it 6-5 in the 108th minute. Only 12 in-game minutes. Well, 15 in-game minutes left actually. Because it's the injury time with extra time. And... Um, it was looking and feeling good. But the 116th minute, Neymar through to Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum inside to De Bruyne. De Bruyne to Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum to De Bruyne. De Bruyne back to Wijnaldum. And the constant pressure, guys. Ball through. And somehow, Messi beats the keeper and the defence and ties the game up in the 118th minute. This was staring like it was going to be penalties. But we had one more opportunity. <laughs> Non-stop, guys. 6-6. Six, six, and he steps on Aguero's ankle, dropping him to the floor. And uh, that was us with a penalty in the 120th minute. This would surely be the last kick of the game. Dybala stepping up. Won the penalty shootout with the last penalty last time. Looks like he's going down the middle. Goes to the right. Beats the keeper. And we win the draft final. 7-6. Damn. I need a break from this, guys. Let's see the packs. What a bloody game that was, guys. 7-6 after extra time. After being 4-1 down at one point as well, we pick up the win against Leon DRT. Whew. Stressed. Stressed, I won't lie, guys. Look at 20 shots, 14 on target, 7 goals. I am hoping that the effort that we just put into that game will return us with something nice. 2-0, 4-4, penalty win. 3-1 and 7-6 victory. In the draft final gives us, oh my god, have I done something on this account or something? But it's it's just absolutely screwing me. We'll see what we get from the pack anyway. Um, from the packs, sorry. More than likely, it's going to be consumables yet again for sale. Um, but it's a slow grind. It is a slow grind, and then the money keeps coming in. The more we do stock up in the club. Now there's no one for sale up until this point. Uh, how much is that? Two hundred. That's a two hundred stadium, so that can go. Uh, we've got the Czech Republic kit, which is actually quite a nice kit, actually. And that one's a 200 kit as well. Maybe someone will pick it up. We've got another kit there as well, which I doubt anyone wants. So we'll list it up as well. And then once stuff has been listed on for a while, guys, we'll probably get rid. So that kit is 200 as well. That's Bournemouth's um, away kit. And then we've got a ball, which we are actually going to make my active ball. Because uh, the ball we've got currently isn't the best. So we'll hold on to all the players. Hernandez, that isn't the right one. Actually... Actually, he is selling for a bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the money on him, I think. Cruiser. Not really worth that much anyway. So we'll hold on to... Uh, actually, Chal, Callus Planas. How much are you left back? 350. 1, 2, 650. Yeah, he's not worth uh, worth getting rid of. So we'll hold on to uh, hold on to these players. And then two uh, gold packs left, guys. Can we? No 86. There's no one to watch in packs now either. We get a board, though. A board player, Brazilian board player, CDM board player. Oh, I was hoping, guys, for Fabinho. I think he would, wouldn't be a walkout, but he would be a board. Um, Lucas Leiva of uh, Lazio. Wasn't in form a little bit ago. We've got Sores as well. Um, but we'll get rid of the contracts for 250. We've got... There's a little bit of stuff in there which people might pick up. We'll obviously hold on to the 83. Um, Lucas Leiva for a little bit. Squad fitness. Have they gone down in price? 950, 950. 950. How much are they? We'll skip a few pages and we'll see. 850. So they're around the same price as well. 850. We'll list it up uh, for that. And then that can go. Uh, send them into CDM. This one might be a one to check. It isn't. 700. 650. 450. So I'll list it for 
600 and then start it at 4 350 so a little bit of coin back there italian serie a doubt league one sell 200 yeah so that's 200 list that one up fair no badge i presume it's going to be a 200 there if not yeah it is a 200 so that one can go down all these consumer i hate these packs all i want is players all i want is players unfortunately the packs just aren't paying out we've got a stadium there which is supposed to be a dortmund stadium which might are uh, 950 so list it for like 700 maybe that goes and then we've got gonzalez as well who is going for 650 we'll list him for 750 bin so hopefully someone takes him and hold on to lucas labor and sores next and final pack of the episode guys no 86 again we got very lucky at the start, didn't we? Anything? Not even a board this time around. Spanish centre-back, Marcano, who we actually had the choice with of taking in this draft, but we never. And uh, he becomes our final player of the day. What else have we got? Donnarumma, Danilo. Actually, we've got some nice players there. Danilo, 3.6, 2.6. Not really worth that much. Mandy Buda, who's perfect link. Uh, Pat there, Don, uh, Catman Tom would love that one. Donnarumma. Not really worth much, so we'll hold on to him. And literally just going to be listing this stuff up, guys. Um, the grind. It is a grind. It is a grind on the draft of glory. Had fun, though. Conceded a lot, hell of a lot of goals, but what can you do when you come with a team like mine? Um, it was uh, open at the back. We're going to learn for the future, but we should be, uh, should be all right. We're in a comfortable position now with... Uh, We've drafted, picking up wins, and uh, how much of the healing we've got for, like, 300? They've dropped down a hell of a lot. We'll lift it 250, and then a right back to win, win back 200, right? There we are, guys. More stuff in the club. Not really much money made today, but marquee matchups do come around. Three things have actually sold, actually. What's sold? Gonzalez, 750, 550, and 150. And we'll relist everything else as well. So, uh, oh, and we've also got something else as well, uh, which was the foot central. I've actually done two things. What we've hit from the spot 250 coins and an item as well, which is probably a sniper item 400, 300, so to about 250 for the sniper and a weekly objective, which gives us a new kit as well if we want it. Do I want the kit or can I list it? Can I list the kit? Can I list the kit? Can I list the kit? I can't list the kit. Well, we'll hold on to it, I think. Yeah, we'll hold on to it. We may use it in the future. Anyway, guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and up. Till next time. Bye.